So when I uh, open up in Photoshop, this will be on the, the workflow page. Um, you'll see that I have a lot of uh, windows that are open. Let me... Uh, windows meaning uh, uh, these things along the left side and then along the right side. So uh, the windows that I have open are uh, info, history, layers, um, adjustments, uh, properties, and that's for working in layers, uh, and, and actions. And so once you open a window, it'll, it'll stay open even after you close the program. Then the next time you open the program, it, it, it'll be there because you, uh, the way you access these is uh, on the menu at the very top, um, toward the right, there's a there's a window selection, and you pull and there's you could open up all of these windows if if you wanted to, which would make it really confusing. So these are the ones that I've that I've opened up that I use uh, quite frequently for for all of the especially the night night sky pictures that that help out a lot. Um, the things that I find really useful uh, is info is the same as what I was showing you on camera raw. If you um, you can actually select any of the tools, but uh, if you take a look down there, you'll see the numbers changing as I move the uh, move, move the eyedropper around, and and that'll show you that 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 way you could you could keep track of both the color balance and, and also the um, the density of the blacks and the and the highlights in your in your picture, which helps if uh, partially with uh, when you, when you're even posting it electronically, but de it definitely helps if you intend to make prints from your pictures because uh, it'll it'll help with the the, the actual uh, density of the image when you, when you send it to a printer. Um, actions are a really helpful thing that, that uh, somebody showed me years ago. And uh, what it is, these are just shortcuts to all the different tools that I need. Uh, I just need to click on one of these, and my uh, adjustment tool will open up, and I don't have to search for it in the menu. Uh, I, the, almost all the ones that I use are under, uh, if you look under image, and under adjustments, then uh, you, you, all of these adjustments uh, that you see on the uh, the right side, you could open up and you could uh, change different things. You could change brightness, contrast. You could change exposure, uh, color balance. You could convert it to black and white. You can do all sorts of things things to the, to the picture. Uh, like I said, there's only a few that I use. In fact, uh, there's uh, a lot of the ones on here I don't really use too much. I don't use shadow, highlight, or brightness too much. Um, the, the, the tool that really uh, uh, serves a lot is called Curves, and I'll go over that in, in a little bit. Layers, uh, uh, the Layers window is, is often good to have if you're going to work in layers, and uh, Layers is another, uh, another tool that's interesting to use. It, it takes some getting used to, and uh, it, it's worth it to uh, look at a more detailed tutorial or, or just... Um, I'll show you. I'll show you a little bit of what layers is about. It's it's very helpful because it it allows you to do something called non-destructive editing. Uh, what it means is that the what what you've done to the picture doesn't uh, permanently uh, alter the file. Is that you could go back and you could make make some changes uh, to it. Uh, most of the time, if you if you go down all your various changes in a sequence, you're changing the file and you you really can't go back and undo things. So. If you if you get it right in the in the in that order, then it's then it's great. If you don't get it right, you have to back up and, and try to alt, try to change things. Uh, but only before if once you save the file, then 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 everything's done. Uh, and but if you're in layers, you can actually save a file that has all of the layers in it that you can go back to and uh, and change if you if your tastes change or if you think well I I I could have made this lighter, darker, or different slightly different color. Um, and some of the, uh, the, uh, the adjustment and the, um, the properties boxes here, the windows here, uh, that's all for uh, working in layers as well. Um, actions is great if uh, it, took, it takes a little while to actually understand how to, how to make one. But if you could, the, the major ones that you use all the time, if, if you could make them into actions, it saves a huge amount of time. Because instead of going to the menu each time, and finding the, the particular action that you need, all you need to do is press a button on this list here, and you're and you're there. And I I, I do it uh, kind of make this list sort of in the order that I 
uh, that I generally do it. I have one that's open, a rotate one. Uh, although I, image size, I usually do at the, at the very end. Levels, curves, um, hue saturation. Uh, inverse is a good one when you're making selections for uh, particular parts of the picture. Uh, shadow, highlight, and brightness I don't really use. Uh, smart sharpen is a good way to, to sharpen the picture. Uh, is a good alternative to uh, unsharp mask. Uh, and then uh, file info is when I need to add. In, you can actually add information to a um, to a picture. Uh, I, I uh, in my camera I, I have my name and a and a copyright symbol attached to each file. Uh, you could you could put in uh, a description. You could uh, this helps in the news business. You could put in a caption telling what, what's in the picture and people's names and then your name. Uh, but you could also put, a, I think, a lot of uh, keywords that then you could search later on in a database if you, if you have your archive set up that way. Uh, my archives are set up in no way. It's, uh, it's basically I do it chronologically by, uh, by subject. If I, if I spend a long time in one place, I'll have a folder that just has the name of the, the the national park or the place that I've been, and, and then uh, I, the way I find things is I'll uh, I'll look at the calendar when I was if I need to find something else I'll look at the dates or the the picture I try to keep all the the date date and time information on the picture file and I just need to find that date and then I look back in my archives to that particular particular date to find the the raw file if that's what I need. 